Uh, obviously a great win, I, I think, uh, for our program. I, you know, the other thing, the Northeast Conference, uh, it's the first time that we've had, this is our third time uh, in it as a Northeast Conference, and we finally got one. And I think a combination of things, all the, the history of uh, getting to have a bid was such a big thing for the conference and our program. And, and then to get a home game on top of it, uh, obviously that was a, a real big plus for the first time and uh, a great thing for, for the conference and our, and our program. Uh, I guess just in, uh, from a standpoint to win the game and uh, this group of kids and coaches have just done a, an outstanding job and they, they came and they teed it up today and played great football. Yeah, yeah, I think we played like the Dickens um, at the end of the day. I, you know, we were ripping balls out. and You know, when you're playing a team that, that's been putting 40 points up in a game, and uh, obviously that's a big concern with, from a possession of the clock and then, uh, you know, being able to put points on the board. And those five turnovers takes the ball out of their hands and, and puts it in our hands, and uh, that, was, that was huge without question. Coming in, we felt that, you know, the one thing that we had to do was keep them off the field as much as we could and, and try to occupy the clock. Yeah, without question. And, and again, you know, that's their MO. Uh, all year they, they run the football and they, they put up 40 points a game. So uh, was a surprise the way they moved the ball at times. But at the same time, hey, that's a great credit to our kids. I mean, we were out there playing like the Dickens and, and hitting people and, and coming up with turnovers. So it was good. Well, you won, you won 87 beats National 25 years ago. How many years ago? <laughs> Holy cow. And, uh, I don't feel that old. Go ahead. Will you agree this is the most significant? Yeah, I, I think without question. I, you know, we've been in a little bit of a drought, I guess is a way to put it, and, uh, as far as to get to postseason play or what may be. And uh, uh, this group of guys and coaches, uh, hey, they, they were on a mission. And uh, at the end of the day, this is just a great thing. That, again, I'll say for our institution, our players, and our, our coaches, and, and for our conference, too. Uh, again, I keep mentioning that, but that's a, you know, when you, when you win a, a first round game, it's a great Thing. Yeah, I was just taking out uh, one week at a time. You know, we didn't want our season, especially our seniors, we didn't want our season to end on our field. So uh, we took pride in, you know, defending our, defending the hill, as we say. And, you know, we had a great crowd and we didn't want to disappoint them. You know, it was just, we've been working for it since the day I got on campus here. And, you know, we've been close. You know, 09, we had a great season, but, you know, we fell short. And then we were, you know, probably didn't do as good as we were supposed to in my next two years. And, you know, this year we're on three and a lot of people are counting us out. But, you know, guys in that locker room, we never doubted ourselves. We never doubted our coaches. Our coaches, you know, kept having faith in us. And I think it paid off in the long run. Obviously, you know, playing really good football right now. And I just couldn't be prouder of my teammates and my coaches. Well, that's, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to go out and have fun. Nobody be too tight. We just made sure we played as one, played as a team. That's our motto, one heartbeat. One team, we're gonna get the win. As long as we got the, as long as like Nick said, as long as we got more points than the other team, we'll take it. So it's great. We, I read the papers every day, and they they talk about how we just writing a book and we just making history. And it's, this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be proud of my teams. And this is just, this is great. I feel great. I mean, it's just, I get the feeling now this team, you know, you're in the final 16 in the country, and you certainly belong. Well, for the past two years, we knew that we had the weapons. We knew that we could get there, and we just we just hit the rock. This year, we stum we stumbled at the beginning of the season, and now we're on a nine-game winning streak. It couldn't be it couldn't be any better. Uh, nah, I mean, I just want to thank everyone that you know played a part. In me getting up here or helping me out throughout my uh, college career, my coaches, my old coaches that you know still come out and you know, watch us compete every Saturday and, you know, it means a lot to us and I hope they realize how much it means to us. I mean, you know, it's, that's something we've been saying since the Albany game, you know, just go out there and, you know, work as hard as the people, you know, down in Midland Beach are working and stuff like that and, you know, just for three hours, if they're, if they're able to come here, we just want to give them something to go home and, you know, forget about what they're going through for a while and just give them something to smile about. Yeah, it's going to be tough, but I mean, we're excited to get out there. Defense, you know, we watched them together. You know, we just stayed together, and that was our motto. And like Tony said, it was one heartbeat, you know. We also had another motto was lean on me. Make sure you play for the person next to you. So, um, just, just the environment and the coaches, you know. It, it felt like a family. And, you know, 
I had a few situations and a few offers, but you know, speaking with Coach Hobbs and Coach Hamlin, you know, they really sold it to me and my parents. And you know, being here has taught me how to love the player next to you. you know, but I never had a team like this, and it's, it feels good. I mean, going into every game, we try not to think about other teams and you know what other people say. You know, our motto again is just you know play for each other, uh, stick to stick to what we do best, and that's playing hard, having fun, and playing for each other. You know, uh, the, the three of these guys sitting here. I you know I've always said if I'm in a fox I'll, I'll be with all three of these guys and a lot of other people. But at the end of the day. Um, you know, we haven't turned the ball over, and, um, you know, he hasn't thrown an interception. So why does that happen? Uh, obviously, he's a great competitor and, a, and an outstanding player, and uh, he has a great concept of the football game and uh, understands it. I mean, he could be coaching with us right now, and I'm not just saying that. He knows exactly what's going on at the field, on the field all times, and, and uh, he's been our leader and uh, puts us in a great situation and makes plays. He's a player. I, I think so. I think, you know, and, and again, uh, you know, we'll take a look at the film, but I, I think we were really getting to the ball and they were pulling the ball out. And I mean, there were some pretty good hits out there. And, uh, you know, that was the other thing that we said, hey, we got to play physical football, which we played all year. But at the same time, hey, you got to keep you got to keep hitting these guys because they're going to run the ball against you and, and pull the ball out. I mean, it's just, you know, obviously in high school, you know, you got a bunch of players and, you know, just to be able to compete at this level is a tough thing to do. And then, you know, to go out our senior years and have a championship season, you know, first one double A uh, playoff winning program history and NEC history, you know, it just you can't really make it up. I mean, and I, I think I speak for everyone up here and I don't think we're done writing the book yet. So we just got to keep working. Um, for me, high school. My coach, my head coach, Coach Vesey, he kind of molded us in sophomore year, and by the time we were seniors in high school, we were ready. We just knew what we were destined to do. We knew we had to get to the championship, and thank God that we got there. And coming here at Wagner, the coaches were just great. They never changed. They were just always telling us what to do, where to be, and they were always on point. And Going against the go against our offense every day in practice. That's that's the main reason why we got the number one defense because they're so great at what they do, running the ball, passing the ball, whether Doc whether Nick keeps the ball or hands the ball up to Dom. Our middle linebackers have to be there. Our safeties have to be there, and those are the guys that really get get us ready every week. So I really have to thank them and the coaches as well.